It's crazy, but it's true. There's nothing for us to be concerned about. 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 According to them, there's nothing to be concerned about. So two scientists pick that data and based on that study with that data, they applied a model. This is between scientists, very, very reliable scientists. You can see this on astronomerstelegram.org. It's the reading 17437 and it's crazy. 9 of October. Scientists, I strongly suggest the ones that are skeptical that check the curriculum of these two scientists. Periodic changes in positional observations of 3i atlas. Notice that they call it a comet, but that will be always like that in the scientific community. Nobody will call another thing, otherwise they will be, you know what. So I, I'm not in their heads. I don't know if what they believe, truly believe it is. They are doing a job over the data. Actually, it's their job. This Yuri Medvedev and Sergei Pavlov are two scientists that work every single day in measuring orbits, meteors, stuff like that, asteroids, everything around that. It's their job. Now, from this study, what they concluded, this says formulas and stuff, basically that every four hours, every four hours, 3i atlas change direction. And every two hours, 3i atlas has a pulse of brightness. They made today another correction to fine tune that period to the margin of error. So four hours plus minus two hours to the movement and for the brightness, those pulses of brightness, two hours plus minus 1.33 hours. This doesn't prove that it's alien and doesn't prove that it's natural because it can fit the natural argument or the non-natural argument, alien, as well. And here we are about the truth. Regardless, man, if at the end, look, at, at my home, we go back and forth. I'm always towards the alien side of it. Mostly. Sometimes I read something and it's like the, the landing on the moon. I feel like mm, maybe it's natural. Yeah, I can be. But then with the anomalies and I shift. And then I see those images on from ESA and, and no, it, it, it is alien. So mainstream will pick the natural side of it and will tell something like to this, uh, is, this is possible naturally because, but to happen, it uh, to occur, this uh, Bursts, these, these are bursts of energy. It has to, to have a, a, a binary nucleus because the rotation, the real rotation that there are two studies at least about that is 16 hours, 16 ish. So a full rotation of 3i atlas takes 16 hours. It makes no sense. So now you are saying me each four hours rotate. No way I say because it's. Both studies are correct because this one says something that uh, implies that a nucleus, a binary nucleus, so it's possible to have the 16 hours and the 4 hours at the same time. And wh what about the 2 hour bursts of light? That is also possible to fit here because whatever, ask AI, man. Ask AI if you want to dig on that. I felt like being fooled by AI, but... Uh, it's true that I'm not uh, as smart uh, to read uh, scientific uh, stuff on it by AI and uh, understand perfectly. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's that that formula. That two sentences formula. Ah, okay, now I understand. I'm not a scientist. I'm just someone like you or even less. Okay? So, 
I know what they say here, and they put the formula here. It was found that this uh, strange formula, this strange formula values undergo variations with a statistical significant period of four hours. And then they say in a very simple language, because it's a correction today, four or more or less two hours more, a margin of error and two and margin of error 1.33 hours to the brightness. The power spectrum of the light curve. The method they applied, it's the bootstrap method. It was obtained, they applied a different method, which is, uh, in fact, which uh, something that AI says, ah, because the methods are different and the 16 hour is because one method, but these guys were with a different method. It, mm, I felt like I was being fooled, but uh, I'm not sure. Maybe AI was saying something logical and I'm not uh, as smart and it's the reality. Now the people that like to dig deeper on this, the ones that are, no, mainstream is right, it's a comet, will find easily an explanation for a natural thing to do this, the nucleus, it's a double nucleus, whatever. What uh, they say, the AI, not these guys. These guys don't tell anything. These guys analyze data and said, this has a period of four hours, each four hours does these moves, and uh, each two hours gets a flash of light. Also, the, the AI is saying about the four hour spin. It's natural on the natural comets because of the gas that you know that the gas it's what makes the, the comets shift. But the problem is that to have this kind of uh, effect of outgassing, that will be that sublimation periodically each four hours that would mean that we had a tail <laughs> and they can't explain that man then then you enter on the suppositions ah because this might be a different object because it's interstellar and we go again through the their fantasy again we have our fantasies it's true the alien believers but they have their fantasies as well but their fantasies are very gray and very stereotype. They have all the same fantasies. It's like having the same dream. Everyone. Every night. We have different dreams. We dream with this. We dream with that. Some of you think they will uh, break apart. Some of you think they will send probes. Some of you think uh, it's a ghost uh, uh, alien probe. Some of you think loads of stuff. We are very much more creative than done. And that is good because... With all that information, we can, you can build your own with your own head and pick things from them as well, of course. They, they studied data, and the case of this Yuri Medvedev and Sergei Pavlov, it's very reliable and very important. So, periodic changes in positional observations of 3i Atlas. Now, we shouldn't push to one or another narrative. We analyze this. It's a weird thing. It's very important. It's very important because it's something that uh, it's weird. Every four hours do that without a tail. Because you saw on these images again, there's no freaking tail, man.